Get to know Laura Fracon. She's an Emmy-nominated costume designer and co-founder of Source Digital. Okay, well, Laura Fracon, I'm excited to welcome you to the Chandria Show. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much. Now, as a professional with an incredible career as a costume designer for TV and film, how has life in quarantine been for you? It's been interesting. Um, as I said to you just a little bit ago, I was actually in New York working on a project. Um, I'd been there since October and uh, March 13th, uh, we got told go home, we'll probably shut down for two weeks. And here we are five months or four months later almost and uh, we still haven't been able to go back. Um, luckily, we are starting slowly to start getting all of the crew tested and starting slowly to go back. Um, hopefully I'll be back in about two weeks, but my week completely shut down. So it was, it was interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. It's still unbelievable. Even many months later, it's still unbelievable that this is our, our norm right now. And especially for you as a, as a professional in, Professional designer, you know, I mean, you're the, that's at the pulse of TV and film. So for everything to be shut down, my heart goes out to you and, you know, professionals like yourself that are, you know, really working to figure things out. Cause that's, that's, that's who you are. That's your livelihood. That's how you make your money, you know? So, you know, stay encouraged during this entire time. I know it can be a challenge. You know, <laughs> but, stay together and <laughs> happy thoughts, positive vibes. Um, you're the co-founder of Source Digital, a technology that allows content creators, owners, brands, and retailers to seamlessly engage with viewers across any device or screen in real time, introducing a new era of contextual commerce and advertising. Amazing! <laughs> what was your inspiration for this brilliant idea? Well, honestly, it's my work as a costume designer. I constantly get requests from viewers, um, fans of the show saying, you know, oh, I'm a huge fan of, Sil I'm a collector of all things Sylvester Stallone and I'll pay any amount of money for the special shorts that he wore in this show. Or my favorite story is um, on True Blood, an oncologist reached out to us and she had a patient who was a, a, a younger person and they were a huge fan of Sookie and True Blood. And there was this pink sweatshirt that the, the, the oncologist wanted to get for the patient. And so she reached out to us and I kept, all of these requests kept coming through and through. And I thought, why, there isn't this information out there. Nobody at the time was doing anything where you could just find out exactly where this shirt came from. And, and then the real life all moment was one night I was, um, I was filming Men in Black 3, I came home from work and I, uh, Shazam had just come out and I was sitting on the couch watching Gossip Girl. I was in love with this dress and I went to Shazam it. And I thought, we can't do that right now. Nobody's doing that. And so I reached out to Hank, my brother, and I said, I have this idea, I don't know if it'll work, but what are your thoughts? And he said, don't tell anybody, and yes, let's build this. So that's basically the light bulb moment. Now, you got your brother's help with this brilliant idea. Um, why did you trust him with it? Why did you go to him? Does he have a background in tech or? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Hank, my brother Hank, has been in the technology industry since the very beginning, back when the dot-com boom was happening. He, in fact, I, he, we still joke about it. He came home and said, you know, there's gonna be this thing that one day you're gonna be able to do your email on the phone and talk and to friends and see each other. And oh, we're like, yeah, right. You know, cause that's when everybody still have flip phones and stuff. And look, look where we are today. So I trust He said it, it many years ago. <laughs> Like, you know, late night, you know. With the LG flip phone. <laughs> so he had, you know, he was selling, he had built and sold a company and I just thought if I can trust him, he knows 
he knows always what the future of technology is. Okay. So I went with him and he has such an amazing team that he works with. Um, there you go. <laughs> so you have this idea, brother says, hush, hush, let's build it together. So you all enter into this amazing brother, sister partnership with them, which I just adore. Um, present day, there's an entire team for Source Digital. How is it working with everybody? Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of our team. We have people that are just such experts in their industry, have so many achievements and accomplishments. Everybody's really joined when we were still bootstrapped. You know, they were, the Michael Phillips is an Academy Award winner for his technology that he developed with Avid. And he joined us from the very, very beginning. We have so many people like that, that have just come over because they believe in the product. And so each day we just keep growing and growing with these really heavy hitters. And I'm very proud of everybody. It sounds like a testament also to the, to the workmanship that you have and your brother Hank have. It sounds like a testament because it's you know it's the product but it's also the people behind the product that so it's like I'm supporting I'm supporting Laura I'm supporting Hank because I believe in their workmanship and I believe that whatever ideas they come up with that you know they're gonna see it through and you know we all we all like that we all want to be a part of something that is you know you're you're visionaries I think it's incredible <laughs> um why is this technology so viable in 2020 and who is Source Digital's ideal client well, I mean, the, just in this post-COVID world that we're now in, it's more important than ever. Um, we, I cannot believe I, of this horrible thing that's happening, but this is really, now the time is crucial for Source. Um, we, people want a connection. They, now we're spending our days staring at a computer screen, staring at technology. We can't go shopping anymore and feel the clothes or smell the perfume. And so what Source does, it, it brings this connection of that experience. Let's say you went to a surf shop and you touched a surfboard and you're like, oh, I want to go surfing. Now you can be watching a video of some guy surfing or some woman surfing and you say, oh, what, what's that surfboard? Or where, where are they? I want to book my next vacation there. And so now you're getting these experiences, this connection to your content that you never had before. And it's really important because we're not getting that with each other right now, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's nice to have these activations and learn where your things are coming from, dive deep into the information behind the story. All of that is why I think it's so critical. And the people that would really benefit from our technology are advertisers, brands, um, content creators, anybody who can't really, they're not, they're suffering right now because they're not, people can't go to stores, they can't, you know, do the one-on-one. -on -one, so you can get these experiences from our technology. Incredible. Are you proud of yourself? Because I'm proud of you. <laughs> um, yes, it's been a long, we started this journey a long time ago. And we were really almost too far ahead of the curve in the, in the beginning because the tech, you know, it just hadn't, now everybody's caught up to it. Now people are like, oh my gosh, I, you know, we want this seamless advertising to happen. People don't want to be sh things shoved in their face anymore. They want it like when they want it. You know, your beautiful blouse. Now, if you were watching a show, instead of having some ad thrown in your face, you could be like, oh, I love that blouse. And find the information for getting it, shop it, buy it, whatever. Right. That's amazing. And I think that, you know, I, I, I mean, te technology has given us that instant gratification that, you know, we've, we've come to grow in love and we expect it now. And so I love that you're taking it a step up through your company and you know, you're doing, you're giving more. <laughs> um, aside from success in business and technology, <laughs> your list of credits are incredible. I read that you created costumes for some of the most legendary characters on TV shows and feature films, such as True Blood, which you mentioned, How to Get Away with Murder, Men in Black 3, Nostalgia, King Skull Island, was it Kong Skull Island, Dinner for Schmucks, and you also were a part of the Emmy-nominated costume design team for Mad Men. What are some of your own proudest achievements as a costume designer? Well, I mean, I really 
again, attribute most of our achievements to the team that I work with, the teams that I work with. Um, we are, I work with some of the hardest people in the, in, hardest working people in the industry who just go above and beyond. The hours they work is insane. The dedication to their craft is amazing. Um, in terms of achievements, it's meeting these amazing designers and wardrobe supervisors and costumers along the way. Um, right now, I'm working on a really cool project. I can't wait to get back to it. This is a huge achievement. Um, it's a show I really think is going to be fun and cool. It's called Inventing Anna, and it's going to be um, it's a Shondaland production. And it'll be on Netflix when we finally get back to it. But <laughs> yeah, the achievements really come just in the gratification of being able to work with these amazing people. That, that's really that's really it. Well, I think that you're amazing. Keep up the incredible work and, you know, just continue to, you know, stay positive during such a difficult time. But, you know, um, you'll be back to doing what you love very soon, I hope. I want to thank you for your time today. What's the best way to, to follow your journey as a costume designer and also to learn more about Source Digital Online? Sure. Well, for me, everything's my name, Laura Freycon. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Laura Freycon. Um, in terms of Source Digital, same thing. It's sourcedigital.net is the website. Um, and we are on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Everything is uh, under Source Digital or the at Source Safe. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you again, Laura. You take care over there. <laughs>